With the new millennium, Great Danes celebrated a rare milestone, 100 years. At this point, the company made several key acquisitions while also having to say goodbye to some of our past. It began with the purchase of manufacturing facilities from Strick Trailer in Danville, Pennsylvania, Trailmobile in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and the Wabash National Corporation in Huntsville, Tennessee. Our branch transformation was also in high gear, with Charlotte setting the pace for future locations. One-stop shop experience added a high-tech paint booth, more service bays, expanded parts warehouses, and plenty of yard space. Meanwhile, products like the P101 dry van, the SSL dry van, and the composite dry van were being introduced to a marketplace hungry for innovation. Before the recession hit, Great Dane was manufacturing 60,000 trailers across nine U.S. plants. Then, with the downturn, we had to close our original Savannah manufacturing plant, one that had been in the family for 90 years. Speaking of family, in 2005, former Great Dane president Kit Hammond, son of Chris Hammond Jr., stepped down from his duties after a 40-year career that took him from the plant floor to our corporate offices. I was president of Great Dane when I retired 15 years ago. I'm 80 years old, and the Great Dane DNA still flows through my blood. I'm kind of multi-generational in the uh, great-grandfather, grandfather, father, myself. It makes, I think, six generations in my family. Great Dane has a lot of senior employees. They have that because it's a great company. People don't come to Great Dane looking to go to some other company. They come to Great Dane because it's a company they want to work for. Great people make a great company. You can say good people make a good company, but we're not a good company. We're a great company.